Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Saturday to everybody. I do have a project share, but also I wanted to share my winnings from Sybil B's giveaway. So hi Sybil, thank you so much for doing this giveaway and I can't even believe I won it. Um, now this was a while back and I just hadn't ordered from the uh, shop that um, where she had given me the gift code and it is from let me see if I can remember Doodlebug Wah, which is in Washington it's a small shop in Washington and um, I won a $15 gift code from Sybil so thank you so much Sybil and this shop has so many cute items I was very tempted to get some Doodlebug because you guys know I love cutesy Doodlebug but I wanted to get a die. I'm also obsessed with dies right now, as you guys know, with all my hauls. So, anyway, this is my winnings from Sybil. Um, Sybil's, cha uh, not challenge, giveaway. And it is a die from my favorite things. So, again, I got a gift code and then I just went on the site she told me to go to and... I bought this and look how cute it was packaged it says happiness is handmade and I think she stamped that so how cute is that so that is a great idea I'm terrible at using some of my stamps so I've already put it put um, change my packaging because I kind of I put the um, what is this the magnetic sheet on there and this is the die, and it, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's from my favorite things, Dynamics. And um, it creates a balloon, a heart-shaped balloon um, shaker. So here is the frame, and then these are the, um, the string, as well as that. Oh, I forgot to add that one. Hmm. <laughs> Oops, and um, this is the background. So anyway, how adorable is that? And of course, I had to get the um, coordinating acetate uh, piece so that you can make your shaker. And it just makes it super easy. Okay, so anyway, that is my my winnings so thank you so much Sybil if you guys don't know Sybil oh my goodness she is super talented she does have tutorials I will leave her link um, she colors with Copics uh, just just amazing coloring you guys so you guys have to check her out so let me go ahead and share with you guys what I need okay so I created a birthday uh, flip book. I haven't done a flip book in a really, really long time, you guys. And I've been kind of stuck on this paper right now. <laughs> um, and this is the Paper Studio LOL. You guys know I did a couple of hauls on this line from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I, I used several different papers. Um, I had to make a belly band because it I wanted it to close properly. And so let me just take this off so I can show you. And it's very simple, you guys. Now, this is a stretchy band that I got from Hobby Lobby. I made a bow using my Sizzix, I believe it's Boutique uh, Contour Dye. And it, I didn't put the tail, so um, on the bow, I used the canvas glittery, yeah, the glittery canvas from Hobby Lobby. And then this is a Recollections flower. It's like a sequence flower, I think, I guess it's called, um, which I hauled a while back. Okay, so... I used, uh, let's see, what did I use? Basil, 
cardstock, which is this very light, light pink color, um, a 12 by 12. And then I basically followed the style of this kit that I had gotten from Michael. So let me just do a quick, you know, show. Um, it came in a package like this. It's actually this one here, and I know you guys have been wanting me to, well, one of you guys asked for me to do a tutorial to how to put this together. Um, and I, I apologize, I haven't done that, but you know, it's similar to this one. So um, basically, I just kind of followed the style of this, which is basically a flip book. It's a snail mail flip book is what it's called. And so it comes with, it's a kit. And it comes with everything you need to make a flip book. But what I liked about it is that it has an envelope on one side right here. And it has this piece in the front, um, in the middle. And then um, just a plain flap. And so it's only three flaps. And it closes like that. So I basically followed that, but I just kind of um, made mine a little bit bigger. And so let me just show you guys. Whoops, sorry. I keep. Okay. So um, I used one of the papers that has this girl and it has this um, scooter. I forgot what it's called. It's There's another word for the scooter. But anyway, um, uh, the only thing I did here basically was layer, let's see, one, two, three papers from the collection and this measures about sorry I keep dropping things and I'm sorry my my son once again is, is super noisy he's just a little noise machine this is five and a quarter by I believe it's seven and a quarter five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and then um, I stickled her skirt, the flowers, and I put this bow right here. And this is a flat back, uh, these bows, whoops, sorry guys, I, my stuff is all over. These bows right here that I believe I hauled this at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I put one of those. I just took the shank on the back off because they're actually buttons. Um, so here, this is where I used the die and acetate piece. And I just put some uh, sequins from Michael's, just from my stash, uh, so that it matched the rest of the colors on this page. And then um, this happy birthday right here, I cut with a die. And the die is this new one that I had recently hauled. It's by Jen Long. And this is, um, this is called, it's called the Phrases Happy and Pineapple. And so I basically just used the happy birthday. And I layered, layered it several times so it's pretty thick and dimensional. So it kind of feels like, um, what is that? Uh, thickers. And then I put this twine here. And I guess I had forgotten to put that little curly cue to make it look more like a balloon. So I hope it looks like a balloon. <laughs> And this is going to um, someone special on her birthday. And I just layered some, I don't even remember where I got this uh, trim. I know this is a Hobby Lobby trim here, the pink and gold. Um, the white one, I want to say, is from Michael's. It's either Michael's or Joanne's. Um, and then, oh, here, here, let me show you. It's this one right here. So it looks like it's from Joann's because I don't think Michael's has this one. 
love this love love trims um, lace trims so I basically put the lace trim down here and also on the inside page because when it overlapped um, it, there was there's a gap between this page and the bottom so um, I had to just um, add a little more okay so there's the first page and then when you flip it over you have this and it's like I said it's pretty plainly decorated I put a bow here using um, a bow that I created with the pink and mane and this the pink and mane dye uh, stitched bow dye I think it's called and I want to say this is the medium sized bow because I don't have the teeny tiny one. I've yet to get that one. So again, here, I put the trim here. And I kind of needed to keep this pretty flat, you guys. Um, just so it's not going to be so bulky. Um, I did cut out some of the pieces from the collection. And I did back this one up with a black 110 pound cardstock. Um, this one I just fussy cut. And I love it. I love this. This girl. I backed uh, um, this mint paper with um, some gold. And the gold is the one I hauled from Michael's. It's very thin, but I absolutely love it. It's great for making bows as well. And it's this one right here. And it has this very, um, it's just very flexible. And it is um, one of the Recollections uh, pack. And I did haul this, and it comes with a bunch. So this is a great one to use, you guys. It's durable and flexible, and I love it. Um, you know, just for um, creating borders. And I just think it just looks more elegant. And this here, this Lady Boss, is actually a strip that I had just cut from the collection. And, you know, one of the cut aparts. And then here, I basically um, just used the die cuts. I fussy cut this little um, succulent in a vase here. This hashtag lovely. Um, this set of books with the apple. And then these here, these flat back uh, pearls. And this applique looking... Um, piece here that's actually from the um I believe this is from Hobby Lobby it's um one of the uh where is it from oh yeah it's from the his and hers which is the um why can't I say it <laughs> the wedding aisle hello <laughs> okay sorry about that so then you flip it this way and you have this, um, well, let me go here first. So in the middle, like I said, I, I basically followed um, the construction of this thing here, the base. And um, I just, of course, made it more sturdy. And um, I decided to put a closure on it. And so um, my closure unfortunately overlapped a little bit because I, when I put this paper, it's pretty thick. It, it just became super thick. I, I folded this over like that, see? I started here and then I folded it over to create this little border. And so, yeah, it just kind of overlapped. But anyway, this <laughs> was such a chore to put together for me I don't know why I just couldn't work that day um, this was a bit too thick so I probably should have just used twine and I just had such trouble trying to make this work this um, closure but in the end you know it worked out and I basically used a two circle punches to create the circles and then I used an eyelet and used my crocodile the big bite and then this is from the um, collection, again, I mean from the paper. Um, it's one of the cut-aparts, and so I just cut it, and then I matted it. Wait, did I mat this one? No, 
This one's not matted. It has the black border already. This one I matted because it didn't have the black border. Do what makes your soul happy. Uh, and then you open it like this and like this. Hopefully I'm in frame. I love this. This is one of the cut aparts that I absolutely love. It's the girl with the fedora. And um, I made a pocket. And the pocket is using another one of my new dies, which is this Linda Canasi Framelits. And it creates a pocket. I just didn't use the rest of the dies, but... Um, I basically just used it to create the pocket. And then after I made the pocket using this uh, designer paper, I backed it up again with um, that gold foil, which I love the color of this gold foil because it's not too yellow either. And that's what I love about it. And I think it matched the gold accents on in this paper. And what I love also about this pocket is, look, it it can house... Okay, look, it can house this, um, this um, MD, memory deck. So I basically cut this out with my Heidi Swap memory deck uh, die. And it fits perfectly in there. Look. Of course, I have a bow there, so it doesn't go all the way down, but that's exactly how I wanted it. Um, I did pop this up on thin, um, uh, what do you call it, foam, just um, so that I can easily slip this in, because I didn't know exactly how dimensional I was going to make this. Um, but, you know, of course, I couldn't make it too, too dimensional. And I just made this very, very simple. Um, memory decks and I actually haven't put anything in the back yet because I'm gonna um, back it up with probably white because you can't <laughs> you can't really write on this um, so anyway I just think it's so cute and elegant and I was actually inspired to make something elegant because I um, I was watching my BFF's channel and um, hey Erica <laughs> And uh, she created something that was just so simple and cute and it had um, some heels and, you know, so she inspired me because um, I was kind of on a, in a funk. <laughs> I couldn't create and anyway, um, you guys know Scrap Diva 29. So, um, yeah, so I have these dies from um, Sarah Davis. This one right here, which... You know, I barely use. It's Crafter's Companion, and this is part of her um, collection, which I can't even remember what collection now. It's like a glam, glam one. Let me see if it says on here, but anyway, um, here's the shoe. And I wanted to keep it fairly simple. Um, you can pop out, you know, the little pieces, but I, I didn't. I wanted to keep it all gold and then black in the middle. So I cut it. I cut a 110 pound paper um, just to back it up and to give it dimension because, um, you know, like I said, this um, gold paper uh, is very thin. And then I did the same thing here, basically. But this time I did pop out the the gold pieces but the black little bits i kept in in hope that makes sense and then i made this bow using again the boutique uh die this one right here it's a spell binders i'm sorry did i say sizzix earlier i think i might have it's a spell binder boutique love this die because it cuts um, faux leather and things like that but this is canvas and um, I did get this from Hobby Lobby and then this is also canvas and anyway and I wanted it because the letters already work here um, it says glamorous and I wanted it to say glamorous life so really simple um, but that's I wanted to keep it simple 
Okay, and then, so that goes like that, and then we can close that later. And then this part right here, this part right here, um, I basically just, um, you know, just put some paper down on the flap of the envelope. And this envelope is actually a ready-made envelope from Michael's, sorry, Hobby, sorry, Hobby Lobby, which is this one right here. And it's the blush. And it's uh, seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. And that's why I um, basically sized it this way so I can use this envelope. And then inside, I'm going to put some more stuff in there, but I'm just basically going to put some stickers, maybe add a little topper, you know, something like that. And again, this is from this collection. Stickers from Hobby Lobby. And that's it. Um, the back. Oh, sorry. It closes. Let's just pretend I close that and it closes like this. There's um, room for me to put some more in there because I created the belly band. It just makes it easy um, to close. But um, I just kind of put a little um, cut apart again and it said XOXO already on there. So I just added my name and love this pattern, of course. So um, yeah, so that's it. That is my project share. Yay, I finally got a project completed. Um, like I said, I was just not really able to create um, and share with you guys or not able to finish projects to share with you guys, but I finally did. So I'm very, very happy. Um, with that so thanks so much for watching guys and again thank you so much Sybil for my winnings um, I so so much appreciate it and I appreciate you and your channel and I will leave Sybil B's link in the description box so check her out and give her some crafty love you guys thanks so much for watching and enjoy your Saturday bye for now